Okay, we are going to solve practice problem 7.3 from Sadiku book and the question is find I. I is the current that passes through this inductor and Vx, Vx is the voltage across this resistor here, this 1 ohm resistor and then this is the circuit and let I0, I0 is the current at time 0 is equal to 12 ampere. So now we have Vx here and by using Ohm's law we can calculate Vx from what we get here. So here the current that passed through this resistor is also I, right? Because it is in series with this inductor. So I will have Vx is equal to the current which is I multiplied by 1 but because it is flowing from negative to positive the sign will be negative okay so i will have vx is equal to minus i and let's save this because this is important thing to note later okay now we will need to use kvl so I will use this one here as loop number one and then here is loop number two. Okay, now let's use KVL at loop 1 okay and KVL said the the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0 okay now we will start from this 1 ohm resistor the voltage is Vx but it's flowing from negative to positive so I will have minus Vx and then plus the voltage in this inductor which is L di over dt and then we move on to this dependent voltage source which is minus 2vx because the, the current is flowing from negative to positive and then this is I1 right I1 and then this one I will have 2 ohm resistance so I will have plus 2 and this one is I1 minus I2 and all of this will equal to 0 okay now let's simplify this so I will have minus Vx minus Vx is equal to minus minus I and then the value of L is to Henry so I will have 2 so this one is the I 1 over dt and this one will be minus 2 Vx Vx is minus I and then plus 2 I1 minus I2 that will equal to 0. Okay now I, I here if we take a look carefully I is equal to I1 so I just label this I1. Okay minus minus I1 will become I1 plus 2 di I1 over dt minus minus 2 multiplied by this one become plus plus 2i1 then plus 2i1 minus 2i2 and that all equal to 0 and so I will have 2 plus 2 plus 1 it will be 5i1 plus 2 di1 over dt minus 2i2 and that will equal to 0. Okay let's have this as equation number 1. We still need to do KVL 
แอดลบตู้ so this is KVL at loop one so I want to replace this I two with I one all in the I one okay now let's do KVL at loop two we start from this resistance here so I will have six multiplied by I two and then we move on to this 2 ohm so we'll have 2 multiplied by i2 minus i1 and then this one a dependent current voltage source so i will have 2 vx the sign is positive because it's flowing from positive to negative so i'll have plus 2 vx and that will equal to 0 and then I will have 6I2 plus 2I2 minus 2I1. So I open the parenthesis. And then plus 2VX. VX is minus I. So I will have minus plus 2 multiplied by minus I. I is equal to I1. So I1 here. And that will equal to 0. And then, okay, this one should be I1. Sorry should be i1 and so i will have 8 i2 is equal to no not is equal 8 i2 minus 4 i1 is equal to 0 or 8 i2 is equal to for i1 or i2 i2 is equal to 1.5 i1 okay let's have this as equation number two okay now we substitute this i2 into equation number one okay our whiteboard is full let's erase this Okay, so far we have got these two equations and now we substitute equation number two to number one. So we replace this I2 here by this 1.0.5 I1. So I will have 5 I1 plus 2 the I1 over dt minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 of i1 and that will equal to 0 and minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 is minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 so we'll get 4 i1 plus 2 di1 over dt is equal to 0 and then remember that i1 is equal to i so i can just rewrite for i plus 2 di dt is equal to 0 and so i can rewrite this as for i not for i 2 di dt is equal to minus 4 i or we can divide both sides by 2. So di over dt is equal to minus 2i. So we have this first order differential equations. Okay, let's solve this. Okay, I will erase this and solve this differential equation. Okay, now I have this differential equation. So to solve this, I will isolate the all the i into the left hand side and all the t to the right hand side so i will have the i over i is equal to minus 2 dt okay we can integrate both sides so i will have this one and i will have yeah this one so integral of the i over i is natural log of i and this one will be minus 2 t and do not forget that 
we will need some constant. Okay, let's name that constant C1. And we can rewrite this as I is equal to E to the minus 2T plus C1. Or we can rewrite this I because this is a function of time. So we can write it like this. And this one will be E to the minus 2T E to the C1. And I can rename this constant here as what, whatever we like. So I will name this as C2. So we'll have IT is equal to C2 E to the minus 2T. And then we need to find the value of C2. How? We need to use this initial condition. Remember that I0 is 12 ampere. Because I0 is 12 ampere, that means that if we plug 0 into our T, it will result to 12. So I will have C2 e to the minus 2 multiplied by the T is replaced by 0, and that will equal to 12. e to the 0 is 1, so I will have C2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 12. And so I will have C2 is equal to 12. And I finally have IT is equal to 12 E to the minus 2T. And the unit is Ampere. So this is for IT. And remember that Vx is equal to minus I. So I will have Vx with respect to time is just the negative of this one minus 12 e to the minus 2 t the unit is not ampere but volt so i will have v x and finally we have found that we are the things that us in the problem i t and v x so hopefully I did not make any mistakes in my calculations. Hopefully this helped and thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.